Capricorn, it's Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We are ready to do your final week in December reading for love. Um, I noticed that not as many Capricorns, maybe because you're so practical and down to earth, uh, do not watch as many videos. So if there is something that I can provide that you would find a more engaging or an idea, that I haven't thought of, please feel free to uh, put that down in the comments below. This is a move. Uh, this is a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it is a love reading. But it could be any person that you're thinking about. It could be relatives, friends. It could be, you know. Um, so as it resonates, so it shall be. Um, the reading at the bottom of the deck is for Capricorn. Capricorn love. All right, shows the tower card. Whoa, Capricorn, what is going on? Ooh, I'm getting some, ooh, I'm getting difficulty, some conflict, some somebody threatening to leave or somebody who wants to be left alone. Ooh, that's tough energy. Okay, well, but again, the clarifiers will tell the story. So let's look first of all. The tower card is really good in that it can really get rid of difficult situations and brings great clarity and uh, it creates rapid change. So let's see what the goddess deck says you should use for your energy coming into the reading. Give us a little overview or insight into this energy. It says romantic love, okay, romantic love. Uh, it says water, lots of emotions. And it says, good communication. Good. Good for you. Okay, so let's pick this up. I am going to put these out. There's a lot of them, but it says death and magic, so that's Scorpio energy. Ambition, well, how Capricornian is that? Uh, the past has to be dealt with. New beginnings, beautiful. Looking into the future and having a home together. Okay, so let's take a look and see what your mutual uh, past energy was with this person. Again, it does, it definitely looks like something happened that was very shocking and surprising. Sometimes it's good. These cards indicate it might be very good. All right, so let's take a look and see. Okay, so it shows that both of you are of strong faith. Uh, in the past, it's been um, a, an area of strength for your relationship. Let's see what is the current energy between the two of you. Lots of communication, sweet nothings, kindnesses, cute little notes back and forth. Maybe if you live together or you're thinking about it, it'll be the sort of thing where somebody puts a note in your lunchbox. Page of Coins, that's an offer that's substantial in terms of practical. This also can indicate that one or both of you have children. The way your person sees you and thinks about you as being very practical, very youthful, very down to earth, very communicative, very sweet. How do they view you? The Chariot card, like, ooh, you're successful. You move forward quickly. You really go after what you want. The, the way they feel about you is the Four of Coins. They feel like you are a strong, they get a strong sense of security with you. They want to build a foundation with you. They want to show love and build a future with you. They want to nurture the relationship. How do they see uh, the situation going forward? Well, the Four of Cups. They feel as though it's not, there's something a little bit missing here in the relationship, perhaps. There's a lot of responsibility, which is very Capricornian. Um, so let's see. The chariot card shows. Them. This is very, very geared. And this might not be a romantic relationship because there's a lot of energy around this that really isn't very romantic. Uh, but it, it could be both. You know, sometimes Capricorns are a little bit more aloof. Um, but not always. Uh, Capricorns love, love, love deeply. Nine of Wands says that you both feel um, exhausted. The advice of the Tarot says that you need to get out of your head this week. Like, you can really destroy the relationship if you have a lot of negative thoughts. It shows, you know, this energy is very interesting because it shows that based on your faith, you really thought that that was all you needed to make this relationship a good one, but clearly other aspects are needed. 
somebody got their feelings hurt or will get their feelings hurt at the end of the week. So Capricorn, this is a little bit challenging. Let's clarify because that will change and alter the reading a great deal. Uh, yay or nay. And so why is the faith card here? Why is the faith card here? Well, it says a tower card. Well, here we have the tower card. So, so what happened with faith? Seven of Swords. Uh, somebody seems to have claimed to be much more pious and much more religious than they are. Somebody made some pretty big claims, but this is a soulmate connection. So there we go, Capricorn. So why are the pages here? Why are the why is the page of cups here in the current energy? Queen of Wands. Okay, so that's a very fiery, beautiful. Um, mother type personality who's very good in business um, so again it does look like we're dealing with some children nurturing energy for the children okay five of Pentacles shows that um, the energy right now seems as though you haven't seen each other you feel left out in the cold with each other nine of wands again working hard nine of wands mirroring this nine and nine uh, showing that that's what's hidden behind the scenes. Why is why, why does your person see this situation as a page of cup, a page of coins? I'm getting a page of cups. Oh, the need to really take care of children. Again, you know, to have a place, good cozy place for baby to sleep at. Okay, it shows the seven of pentacles working on the stability of the relationship. All right, it does look like children are prominently involved in this relationship. All right, the chariot card is clarified by the four of wands, which is a marriage card. Rushing into marriage, that's how they see you. They think that you might want to rush into marriage. I can't think of anybody less likely to rush into marriage than Capricorn. Uh, but it is a reflection of the person who is looking at you. The two of wands shows that they think that you're looking into the future uh, for stability, and that's true with the Four of Coins. Why do they want to hold on to you? Why do they feel jealous and controlling about you? Well, the Ace of Cups, they're madly in love with you. They feel like they, they feel jealous and covetous of you. The Three of Swords shows that they're jealous of other people. Nine of Pentacles, you come up as a very beautiful, abundant woman who takes care of herself or masculine that takes care of themselves. Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry. Oh, lots of reasons to be jealous. Lots of reasons to be jealous. Four of Cups, why do they think that you might not be interested in them? Why do they think that? The Star card, they think you're a rock star. Why do they think, why does this person think that you may be bored with them or grow bored with them? Five of Cups, well, again, Five of Cups here. Hurt feelings. So something was said, something was done. The King of Cups doesn't show his emotions too much. The Two of Pentacles shows that you need to move on to a better place. The Hermit card means that you're really not talking about the situation. Let's see, why is the Nine of Wands here? Six of Swords needing to move on from a difficult, arduous time. Six of Wands, again, the card of great success. All right, why is the Nine of Swords the advice? Okay, get out of your head. This is gonna take a very long time to come together. And it shows the Seven of Wands, you can defend the relationship. It shows though that whatever doesn't serve you will be cut out. And there, it looks as though, you know, one of you is dating more than one person. So we have multiple people here. So this looks like a relationship you can either choose to have or not have. It does look like there are built-in problems. And Capricorn, I, you know, I have to say this may not be the relationship for you because I get the Five of Cups. I get the Five of Cups twice, which means that you just don't know if you're a match. That this person, you know, wasn't completely honest with you. It shows that you don't want to defend yourself. You don't want to fight all the time for a relationship. You really want to be very grounded, very stable, and you want a relationship built on mutual trust and love. Queen of Swords says that that's Libra Energy saying that you will cut out anything, any deception in the future because you want you have traditional values you want a traditional relationship so 
Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection, Capricorn. What do the romance angels have to say? What do the romance angels have to say about this connection that Capricorn is having? Looks a little tortured here, but looks like there's a lot of affection, but some real difficulty and trust issues. It says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart. Give and receive all of the best of the highest energy. Uh, it says, this could be the one. It says, true love. Well, that's interesting. So what is it that Capricorn needs to know in terms of what to do and how they can contribute? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Do not become codependent. Actually, Capricorn, you're, the devil card is a tarot card that shows that you can be quite quite demanding of your lovers. And basically what it's saying is that you have to you have to give everybody freedom, freedom in the relationship, and that is how you can win at love. Because one of the messages that I'm getting here on sort of a download is that people worry too much about having to be perfect, like presenting a perfect face for you. And you've had this problem in the past. This has been an ongoing situation where you have people who lie to you and you wonder why would they do that? And it shows that they feel as though you have a very high standards and you do as you should, um, but it shows that it's a little bit of fear that kind of gets in the way of your love life. Capricorn, that is your reading. Oh, hopefully next week will be better. And I am going to come back a little bit uh, in a couple of days here with who's coming in, who is coming in. And uh, so we will see. Thanks so much, Capricorn. That's your reading. Bye-bye.